So we have sisters A and A and B and B, and these are identical twins, and they are identical twins. And so if A marries B, and A marries B, and A and B have children, or have an offspring, and little A and little B have an offspring, will their offspring be identical? Twins A and A and twins B and B are genetically close to each other as they are to themselves. Identical twins result from division of one embryo at an early stage. Each twin married another set of twins. So when it comes to having a child, you have to have 23 of the mom's chromosomes, 23 of the dad's chromosomes. Putting that together, you make the kid. So you add 23 and 23 to get your 46 chromosomes. Adding with this twin as well, you have her 23, his 23 to make the baby. And then you add their 23 and his 23 theirs and make 46 kids. Adding that if the um, parents were to produce another offspring, oh, <laughs> they won't be identical. They won't have identical DNA or traits. So they, unless they were born as identical twins, same with this second offspring on this side. They wouldn't be identical or have identical DNA or traits unless they were identical twins. Even with the beginning of the fertilization of the egg, tw identical twins can have different environments. The embryo divides that can make one twin stronger than the other twin, like blood, and it can be easier or harder for birth for the mother. It also causes like sicknesses can be another like outside environment for each twin. Adding that it can um, cancel out a gene for each other twin. Like it can make or break if you're identical or just, or not. Wow, could this be like A and B have a kid, and A and B have a kid. They will be considered as siblings, according to a paternity test, because A and B and A and B are genetically identical. But realistically, they will be considered, they are actually cousins because of the environment. So our answer is no, the children will not be identical, but siblings.